नमस्ते माई सेल्फ आर्किटेक्ट हिमांशु पटेल माई अहमदाबाद बेस्ड फ्रॉम डी सिक्सटी डिजाइन स्टूडियो प्रमोट्स द यूज ऑफ लोकली अवेलेबल मटेरियल्स ट्रेडिशनल बिल्डिंग टेक्निक्स कल्चरली एंड क्लाइमेटिकली रेलिवेंट बिल्डिंग डिजाइन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट आवर प्रोजेक्ट अरण्य फार्म स्टे रिसोर्ट एट की लैंड सेंचुरी गुजरात फॉर लेट्स बिल्ड इट होम वीडियोज Aranya an agriculture farm stay is located in rural setting at the age of Sasan Gir Lion Sanctuary. Client wanted to build 6 cottages with budget constraint. Built up area of one cottage is approx 500 square feet. Apart from this cottages we have reception area, dining area and dormitories. Site is basically a mango farm with grid of trees. planted at 30 feet by 30 feet and if we consider the foliage of mango trees we only have 15 feet space which is very narrow to construct so rather than chopping of trees we decided to design cottages in rectilinear form with pitch roof longer surface of cottages face north south direction in order to minimize heat gain and maximize cross ventilation from adjoining agriculture field with the objective to minimize its visual impact and response to its earthquake prone area scale of the building has been kept so grounded twin cottage plan with hip roof intended to help offset the heavy rainfall in monsoon and heat in summer which is native to this region at a glance from front sloping roof looks like it unites the earth and sky externally the elongated tile roof forms a bold presence yet blended into the landscape while internally it shelters the entrance foyer and secures the visual primary of bedroom in the near future the entire roof will be covered with creepers emerging from the punctured roof and will spread on the tile roof when the roof will be fully covered with planters the building will visually disappear cottages were carefully designed as if planted among the existing mango trees front yard is defined with the natural bio fences constructed of shrubbery act as a transition space between the private cottage bedroom and the open farm area in built sit out at foyer along with twisted sandstone column below roof adds a drama into the welcoming gesture this space is designed intentionally low and one has to bend down and come in during brainstorming on site a small low lying shelter under huge mango tree where farmers take rest in between the farming activities have been came across it was not merely a space within space but also example of symbiotic relationship between nature and man this quality of space inspired us to design this gently embraced low lying form of six cottages building form allows one to instinctively experience the psychological assurance of security on the one hand and the exhilaration of exposure and proximity to the nature on the other once the guest is in the cottage he is cozy and protected he has everything he needs as in a warm bathroom has dry and wet area separated with a small buffer space having stained color glass panel on one side and waste glass bottle wall on the other side the glass bottle used for the construction of this wall were found locally during site visit and i thought of building a wall of glass bottles which filters very interesting light vivid color daylight appears in bathroom fills up the space with joy and excitement the natural skylight from dome above 
lightens the shower space and that makes the bathing experience more refreshing the old construction techniques like rubble stone pack foundation load bearing exposed natural sandstone walls brick dome with china mosaic on top and clay tile roof are not only cost effective and time tested but our methodology to create job for local villagers as a beginning step of social sustainability and shared happiness Every effort has been made to ensure that the cottage remain true to its context and testify itself to the norms of vernacular architecture. This project has been honored by National Architecture and Interior Design Excellence Awards 2020 and published in many international magazines. Rather spending millions on the base technology to create the greenest of green building when very few indians can associate with them and even fewer can afford we should come up with simple established and honest practice offered by vernacular architecture thank you